Okay, so given number 11. In this set of values, what is mode? So, meron po tayong set of values na 0, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, and 6. Letter A, 0 and 6. Letter B, 4. Letter C, 24. And letter D, 3. So, the correct answer is letter C. So, the mode of set data values is the value that appears most often. Given number 12, in this set of values, what is the mean? So, meron po tayong set of values na 2, 4, 4, 4, 5, 7, and 9. Letter A, 7. Letter B, 5. Letter C, 6. And letter D, 9. So, again po, meron po tayong given na set of values na 2, 4, 4, 4, 5, 7, and 9. And we are tasked to find the mean of this given set of values. So, we have to recall the formula for mean which is mean is equal to summation of x over n. So, basically, we just have to get the sum and divide it by the number of data. So, by doing so, so 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 over the number of data, which is 7. Solve 35 over 7. So, 35 divided by 7 will give us 5. So, the correct answer is letter B. Given number 13, what is the probability of getting a perfect score in 3 items of a test that have 5 choices per item? Letter A, 125. Letter B, 3 over 15. Letter C, 1 over 64. And letter D, 1 over 125. So, in given number 13 is we are tasked to find the probability of an event. So, whenever you are asked to find the probability of an event, you have first is you have to convert it as a fraction. So, we have to recall the probability of an event. Wherein, sa numerator po natin, il, ang inilalagay po natin is yung number of success natin. While sa denominator naman po natin is yung total number of possible outcomes. So, in first item, we came up with 1 over 5. So, 1 in number of success because isa lang naman po yung pwedeng maging tamang answer per item and sa denominator naman po is 5 which is the total number of possible outcomes because meron po tayong 5 choices per item the same lang po sa second item which is 1 over 5 again po meron lang po tayong 1 sa numerator kasi po isa lang po yung correct answer and 5 naman po sa denominator because meron po tayong 5 choices per item the same with third item, which is 1 over 5. So, after converting it as a fraction, we will now multiply the fractions. So, 1 over 5 times 1 over 5 times 1 over 5 will give us 1 over 125. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter T. Okay, so given number 14, Christine is 6 years older than Hannah. The sum of their age is 52. How old is Hannah now? Letter A, 23. Letter B, 24. Letter C, 25. And letter D, 26. 
Okay, so in given number 14 is we are asked to find Hannah's age. So to solve the problem, we will use the following steps. So first step is we have to let x be the unknown. So the first step that we must do is we have to identify who's the unknown in our given. So again, I'll read the statement. Christine is 6 years older than Hannah. The sum of their age is 52. How old is Hannah? So since wala naman pong sinabing statement for Hannah's age, that's why siya po yung i-classify natin as the unknown. So x is equal to Hannah's age. And since sinabi rin po sa statement natin na si Christine is 6 years older than Hannah, that's why pwede po natin siyang going x plus 6. So x plus 6 is equal to Christine's age. Step number 2 po natin is we have to create an equation based on the information provided. So sinabi po sa given natin that the sum of their age is 52. That's why pwede po natin siyang gawin as an equation. So x which is Hannah's age plus x plus 6 which is Christine's age is equal to 52. So nagawa na po natin siya as an equation. Okay, step number 3 is we have to solve for the value of x. So, x plus x plus 6 is equal to 52. So, x plus x will, will give us 2x plus 2x plus 6 is equal to 52. So, we have to transpose positive 6 to the right side of our equation. That will leave us to 2x is equal to 52 minus 6. So, 2x is equal to 52 minus 6 is 46. So, 2x is equal to 46. In order for us to get rid of 2, we have to divide both sides by 2. So, uh, so 46 divided by 2 will give us 23. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter A. Hannah is 23 years old. Okay, so given number 15, solve 3 raised to x plus 2 is equal to 9 raised to 2x minus 3. Letter A, 8 over 3. Letter B, 7 over 3. Letter C, 21 over 17. And letter D, 17. So in order for us to solve for that previous equation, we have to we have to recall how to solve exponential equation. So basically po kapag po sinabi nating exponential equation, ito po yung equation na nagko-contains po ng exponents. So again po sa number 15, meron po tayong given na 3 raised to x plus 2 is equal to 9 raised to 2x minus 3. So, kapag nag-solve po tayo ng exponential equation, it is important for us to know kung alin po yung base at exponents. So, kapag po sinabi nating base, ayun po yung 3 sa left side and 9 sa right side natin. So, yun po yung base natin. Yung exponents naman po natin is yung x plus 2 sa left side and yung 2x minus 3 naman po sa right side. So, first step po, kapag po nag-solve po tayo ng exponential equation, kailangan po meron po tayong same base. So, to, so since meron po tayong 3 and 9, kailangan pong i-convert po natin siya into um, same base lang po. So, to do that, we will set 9 as 3 raised to 2. Kasi alam naman po natin na 3 raised to 2 is also equal to 9. So, by doing so, magkaroon po tayo ng 3 raised to x plus 2 is equal to 3 squared raised to 2x minus 3. So as you notice, meron pa pong exponent, yung exponent natin. 
So, next step po is kailangan po natin i-distribute yung exponent po na yun. So, meron po tayong 3 raised to x plus 2 is equal to Again, i-distribute na po natin yung exponent po sa right side natin sa another exponents niya pa po. So, 2 times 2x will give us 4x. 2 times negative 3 will give us negative 6. So, since meron na po tayong same base, pwede na po natin pwede na po tayo mag-proceed sa step number 3 for i-equate na po natin yung exponents natin to each other. So, meron na po tayong x plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 6. So, as you know, this po, tinanggal ko lang po yung base at in-equate ko po yung exponent natin to each other. Then, step number 4, solve for x. Again po, in-equate lang po natin yung exponent natin to each other. Kaya po, nagkaroon po tayo ng x plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 6. Then now, solve for x or i-combine lang po natin yung like terms. Lahat po ng may x at yung mga walang x. So, x minus 4x is equal to negative 6 minus 2. So, yung 4x po sa right side, naging negative na po kasi po transpose po natin siya sa left side ng equation natin. Yung positive 2 naman po, transpose naman po natin siya sa right side, kaya, kaya po nagkaroon po tayo ng negative 2 sa right side natin. And then solve. x minus 4x will give us negative 3x is equal to negative 6 minus 2 will give us negative 8. So, para, so in order for us to get rid of negative 3, we have to... Divide both sides by negative 3. So, negative 3x divided by negative 3. Matitira na lang po is yung x sa left side. And then, negative 8 divided by negative 3. That will give us positive 8 over 3. So, na, so na cancel out na rin po yung, yung negative sign. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter A.